Okay, hi, how are you guys? Hola and hello, como están todos? How is everybody? This is going to be kind of like a random video. What can I say? I'm kind of on a roll. I'm in the process of rediscovering myself, going back to old hobbies, going back to a lot of things that I thought that I left behind in my life. Good things, not, not bad things. Not everything has to be bad. And I am sure that part of the reason as to why I now want to revisit so many things of my past is because My Little Pony is back with a new special. My Little Pony Make Your Mark is the new uh, MLP Gen 5 special available on Netflix. And it is the newer piece of content that we have gotten ever since the movie last year. And I am not going to talk about the 2D shorts because Jesus Christ, those designs and those legs scare the crap out of me. But like, okay, personal preference, personal preference. People can like them. But at least for me, unfortunately, sometimes the style and the way that it's animated prevents me from fully enjoying certain shows. Now, I don't really know if in order for me to get full context of certain things, I would have to watch the shorts. If that's the case, please let me know in the comment section and I will soldier on and watch the 2D short so I can understand a little bit more context if I have to. So I watched the special pretty much, I think, uh, the day that it came out and I actually in general quite liked it. But I still kind of think I could have liked it more. And yeah, part of the reason why I think I could have liked it more is that Maybe if the animation was a little bit smoother and a little bit better and less, you know, kind of uh, fidgety and choppy and weird sometimes with the 3D, maybe I would have liked it more. But, you know, I I'm trying not to think too much about the animation in this case because this is TV budget 3D animation. Uh, so you get what you get and you need to make peace with that sometimes and sometimes, you know Yeah, the 3d animation can look a little wonky and weird and iffy and choppy and stiff But if the story is really good, then who cares? I mean it has happened to me in the past before and it's happening now I mean, I, I don't mean to diss on miraculous ladybug, but miraculous ladybug doesn't usually have the best animation there is but it has a huge fan base online and people still love that show because at a certain point the story is able to resonate with so many people that you know you don't give a crap about how bad the animation can be sometimes you kind of sort of maybe let it go so that's what i'm going to try to do right now i'm just gonna try and let go of the certain critiques that i have about the animation in this special at the end of the day, it is what it is. It's not going to change now. It's way too late for that. And it's better to just make peace with it and see the good in it rather than just the bad. Of course, it's a little harder when your eye has been trained for years and years and years to spot the little itty bitty mistakes here and there on every single shot, but I am doing my best. This little mini review is mostly to talk about the story, to talk about the characters and how I feel about the special and how I feel it kind of sets up the overall plot of maybe the first season that we're gonna get. And if my head is not playing games with me, I think we're getting our first season maybe September of this year. So we're not going to have to wait that long, yay! The first thing that kind of surprised me is that we start this special not with Sunny, which has been kind of like our main, main protagonist, but we actually started with Zip. And I gotta say, I have been enjoying the heck out of Zip in this special. I think that she is the uh, better character in this case when it comes to development, when it comes to exposure. We have seen a lot of her. We like, I really feel like I got a sense of who she is and what type of character she is, even more so than the movie. I mean, she is the first and the only character who kind of gives a lot of a crap about what the heck is going on with the magic. Sunny comes in second, but she kind of tries to, like the way that I felt about it is that she was kind of trying to pretend that there was nothing wrong about it and that magic is good, magic is good, magic is good. But in contrast, you know, Sip is more, you know, pragmatic. Sip is like, you know, maybe Posey is right. I'm telling you, something is wrong with the magic. Something is wrong with the crystals. 
you can definitely see that, you know, like, she enjoys figuring stuff out. And she is the one that takes things more seriously, at least for now. The second character that I definitely enjoyed in this special is Hitch. Not because I have a soft spot for stallions, but just because I loved the interaction that he had with the egg. I loved just how caring and attentive he is to just this random egg that he found in the beach. Maybe I have gotten a certain level of amnesia right now, but I don't really... I can't really recall a lot of parental nurturing male main cast characters from uh, recent memory, from recent shows. I think the closest one that I can remember right now is maybe Marco Diaz from Star vs. the Forces of Evil, but that is like a completely different thing, that is like a brotherly thing. In this case, you know, it's very much kind of like a fatherly, you know, parental sort of situation with the egg. And I have to admit that the interaction between Hitch and Sip was one of my favorites. You know, there's like kind of like a playful, tension-y dynamic there, and I fully enjoyed it. Everybody else was great. I didn't have any problem with Posey. I didn't have any problem with Izzy. I didn't have any problem with Pip. I didn't have any problem with Sunny. Not actually, you know, like I think it has mostly to do with my perception than anything else. But if I can if I can be honest, I think that, you know, Hitch and Sip just like stole the freaking show. On their inner dialogues, on the dialogues that they had with each other, on the way that they decided to approach things. And look, I know that I have already talked about Hitch, but I need just to go back. You know, there are just a few scenes that kind of make me think that maybe he does not enjoy being the sheriff. You know, he seems to be a character that very clearly does not like direct confrontation you know like his to go to is to kind of just diffuse the situation to deflect it not by addressing it but maybe just pretending that there's no situation at all which is kind of weird you know he he seems a little bit out of focus like he doesn't want to be there doing the delegating and stuff like that i'm thinking maybe these two are kind of going to switch not in a literal sense, but more like uh, character archetypes, I would say. Sip's struggle with not wanting to be a princess is kind of definitely new territory. I think it's sort of like a way of the new generation to echo the fact that maybe Twilight never really had a choice in becoming a princess. It was sort of just bestowed to her. And she was expected to accept it without question just because she was ready. But maybe that just that's just me reading too much into it because that is my job. I read into things too much. But anyway, there are a lot of things that I would love to talk more about. You know, like I think the uh, addition of a more obvious Earth Pony magic is kind of like a very nice idea. I kind of got a little pissed that they sort of made it look like Earth Ponies never had magic when in reality, you know, like a lot of us that come from Gen 4 can actually tell people that Earth Ponies do have magic in their own way, and if they're not, they are very talent-inclined in their specialties, which can, in their own way, be considered as a certain form of magic. But, you know, I'm not the writer, I'm not one of the creators, I'm not in that room. I am just a random girl screaming weird shit on the internet. Anyway, so these are my random midnight thoughts on a Tuesday. I hope that you guys have enjoyed this, enjoy the drawing. If you want to follow me on my social media, links down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe. I have a lot of fun stuff. I'll catch you guys later. Nos vemos en el siguiente video. Bye bye.